Hello and welcome to today's Python tutorial for beginners. In today's tutorial, we are going to make a mini project as well as talking about a split method in, in Python. So the project that we are going to make was inspired by this website, charactercounter.com forward slash Twitter. So here you can see if I uh, copy and paste some random text, let's say some lorem ipsum here, you would see that it gives me this number that I, this is the number of the characters typed 422 whereas I had to type only 280 characters which is allowed by Twitter and it says the character remaining minus 142 that is I have used much more than I am supposed to but if I just leave this out then you can see that 224 and I have 56 characters remaining so we are going to make something like this, of course, with not interface, with not this type of interface. So what we are going to make is here. So let me show you what it is. So it says your tweet, if I paste the same text and press enter, number of characters 422, you have used 142 more characters than allowed, number of words 65, and your tweet will be like this so this is like 280 characters now so it has a sliced it down to 280 characters okay so this is what we are going to make today all right so uh, I'm using repli.com so you can simply make a free account there and this is going to be your Python IDE Python environment is for free and it's very easy to use so let's talk about uh, split well, split is a method in function that you can use to turn a string, there's a text or sentence, a couple of words or one word into uh, items in a list. Let me show you what I mean. So let's have a tweet variable and our tweet is going to be, let's say two sentences like this is a first and this is second. So this is a string. A bunch of a sequence of characters and I can already have the length of the characters there by simply typing the len using the len function len inside the parentheses give it our um, our variable tweet and it should give me the length of the characters there are 30 characters here including the spaces and also these full stops or periods so this can be we can use this then so let's just put it inside a variable num chars the number of characters is going to be the length of our tweet okay we have the first piece of the puzzle now cool but what else can we do with this so imagine that I want only the first character in this uh, string how do I do that so I should use I should print the tweet but I should use a square brackets and inside that I should give the number of the index of the letter that I want so if I use zero it means the first character now this is T if I use one it would be H you see now if I use zero and I say up to that is using columns up to let's say four it means that I want ca character at the index 0, 1, 2, and 3. That is up to index 4, but not including it. So basically it means 4 characters, right? Because 0, zero 1, 2, and 3. So if I print this, I should get this. So this is what we are going to use. 280. That is whatever piece of text we have. We can slice it just like that. So the first 280 characters for our tweet. So if we have a long text and if we use this as slicing, it will give us only the first 280 characters. And since we start from zero here, we can also leave this out actually, but we have to keep the columns. Okay, so this is the way we use to slice our text. Now let's put it down below, that is here. Now let's get to um, split now. So I just said a split is used for, well, splitting, right? A, uh, 
string or a sequence of characters. So let's have another variable. Let's call it split and uh, tweet. So we are going to split our tweet into words. For that, we need to use our tweet variable. That is this dot because it's a method. So dot split parentheses. Now, if I print this, print split tweet, let's see what I get. So look at this. I get all the words inside my string like this. This is first, this is second. So I get all of them separated as words. But how does Python know that these are words? Well, by default, because we don't have any arguments here, it will go through this sequence and wherever there is a space, it says, okay, this is my delimiter. It means that whatever is before this is going to be one piece of information. In our case, one word. This one again, space before after it. So this is another item, another item. So it works based on spaces now, but we can change it. We can say split this string based on, let's say dots or periods. Now look what happens if I run my program. Now I have three. Look, this is first. It was a dot here, remember? But it cannot show it because that's a delimiter. And then what if what is after dot? This is another piece. And this is also happens an empty string here because it gets to this point. Now I can put a space here that is a split after the dot and the space. Now let's see what happens. So now we have this is first and this is second with the dot. So we have two. So if I add another sentence to it here, let's say this is third. How many sentences do I get? Three. So I can also know the number of sentences just like that because this is a list now split tweet, right? So I can say that print length, the length of split tweet, split tweet. And remember, this is based on sentences. So how many sentences do we have? Three. So this is also how you can understand how many sentences you have. But we want the words. So let's get rid of this. And how many words do I do we have now? Nine, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine words. Cool. So now we know the number of words that we can have. Now, let's get rid of this one. So we have uh, now here in after or before yeah number of chars let's have a number of words so num words and what is the number of words it's going to be the length of our actually our split tweet right split tweet oops just like that now let's get rid of this now okay so we have a number of words we have a number of characters and we also have a slice this, right? Now let's make these more meaningful because only numbers, what are these? What is nine? What is 45 now? So nobody knows what these numbers stand for. And this, what is this one, by the way? Oh, this is a tweet actually. Okay, it's fine. So uh, what we can do is when we want to print it, like print the number of words and print the number of characters here, let's print length well actually we print number of words now we have the length of it so we don't need to use length anymore and the number of characters here right so in order to make it more meaningful i can use it inside a string i can say that um number of words something like this or i prefer to use actually a uh, f string or a formatting by using f here before these quotes and then bring in this variable inside the quotes here but i should put it inside curly brackets now otherwise it would be treated just as some other words so now this is the value from the variable 
So let's use the same thing here. F number of characters. Put this inside curly brackets and close this off with quotes. And then here as well, let's say your your tweet. And you can go to next line by backslash n. And then, because this is a variable again, so we have to put it inside curly brackets and close it off here. Okay, let's see how it works now. So number of words, nine, number of characters, 45, and your tweet is this. Awesome. So far, so good, right? Now, we need to ask the user for the input <clears throat> instead of just providing it ourselves. So we use the input function now to say something like your tweet. And let's get to next line for this, so backslash n. And then whatever the user inputs will be saved and tweet, it will be split, number of words of it, ch uh, characters of it, and it will be printed out. So uh, let's just uh, copy this and run this. So your tweet, paste it here, press enter. Number of words, 65. Number of characters, 422, and your tweet, that is 280 characters only, is here. Okay, again, good. But let's make it a bit more beautiful as well. So let's just print some space here, you know, just to separate these, actually. Yeah, good. <clears throat> Okay, but we can also calculate the number of characters they have available or they have remaining or the number of characters that they should get rid of. How do we do that? By using if statements. So we can say if the number of chars, the number of characters is more than 280, do something. What? So let's say if the number of characters is more than 280, print string again print something like um, you have used let's say 20 more characters than allowed right 20 more but how do we get 20 so we should get the number of characters that the user uses here and inside remember inside curly brackets because this is a variable minus 280 so if the user inputs like 300 characters, then we could say that you have used 20 more characters than allowed. Right? Awesome. Else, now let's have another condition. Else means otherwise, if the number of characters is less than or equal to 280, we should print something again. We should print you have oops inside this so you have and it should be an f string so f so you have how many characters remaining right again inside curly brackets number of characters but this time we should say 280 minus that because it is less than 280 the number of characters right so you have this number of characters uh, characters remaining good and let's put these two pieces of information up there that is a number of words and characters so let's put it somewhere like uh, here and let's also separate it by using this and yeah this should be okay now okay so let's go back clear this let's go and copy this and if i run your tweet okay let's paste it here press enter number of words 65 number of characters 422 you have used wow 142 more characters than allowed okay your tweet well this is after slicing right 280 nice now let's use something less than usual like for example less than I mean yeah something like that so if I run this your tweet mm, paste 
and enter so yeah so number of words 20 number of characters 135 you have 145 characters remaining now and this is your tweet awesome so let's just go over it very quickly what we just did so we asked for the user's input to be written in the next line we split the tweet by using that split into words because it was a sentence and then we calculated the length of the split tweet the number of words actually and calculated the length of the whole tweet as characters and then we put the number of words here number of characters here we calculated if the number of characters was more than 280 we should uh, uh, subtract it and say this is you have used more and if it is less than 280 we again subtract it and we say that you have like 10 more you can use and then we printed that by slicing the first 280 characters okay i hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and listening